We've got a woods. Look, it's there. It's literally there. See? There's nothing but trees. Trees everywhere, full of wood. Are you filming me just to see if I fall over and do something hilarious? No. Yes. Just a general, general <laughs> struggle is the funny bit. Shut up. <laughs> Let's get the tree pulled out. Put your hands down. Choo -choo. You don't agree? No. <laughs> then we should get everything that we can. But instead of doing that, why don't we do what I said? <laughs> Welcome to the Littlest Chateau. Built in the 18th century on the top of a valley overlooking a small village in the southwest of France. This is Paul and I'm Helen and we've got two children and three cats we moved to France in the middle of the chaos of 2020 to follow our dream of living in a French chateau. Come join us at the start of our journey as we share the beauty of this forgotten building and follow our progress as we restore it back to what it once was. Hello. Hello. Uh, hello. 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 Uh, hello. Jo hello. <laughs> you join us here at the woodshed where we have run into a problem. The cupboard is well and truly bare. All that remains in here now are just some toy diggers <laughs> and a piece of pine or two there. And this is completely empty. And the backup woodshed, which is just this away. This away. <clears throat> Oh dear. Is also completely raided and for some reason I decided to stack, to stock this up with pine at first, which is completely unburnable. So all this is pine. Um, and, th and this in fact here is the wood that we've got remaining, just like, I don't know, maybe that's two weeks worth. Um, what, what, what is it now? March? No, April. Yeah, it's early April. Early so April. I think we, when we calculated what we would need to both buy and chop, we were probably, we were probably reasonably on target, but it's been a much colder spring for longer. Last year it was really wet, but quite mild. Mm. So I think we'd probably stopped having fires by now. But yeah, we've still got fire going in the evening at the moment because it's still a chilly spring evening here and there. So more wood needed. Yeah, and I'm steadfastly re refusing to buy some wood in because we've got just it's wood. Annoying. We've got a woods. Look, it's there. It's literally there. See, there's nothing but trees. Trees everywhere, full of wood. But <laughs> wood that we could use has to season. And unless it's fallen and has been down for a while and has already seasoned, ready to burn and just needs to dry out because it's damp, then we ain't going to have any wood to burn right this second. Yeah, but it is, it is, it is down and has been seasoning on the ground uh, over there. Let's go and have a look at it, shall we? Uh, so here we are at the woods. Um, here's some wood, which is like, as you can see, very well seasoned. It's super old and fallen down for years. Uh, I just wanted to, a side point, to just have a quick look over here at this particular uh, lovely plant. I don't know if you can see that. Let's put my hand there. Yep. This is a black locust in its nascent form. It is a spiky little pain in the bum. Uh, and it's very sharp and it's just everywhere all over here there's like some over here 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 all around this tree that we would want to get out so there's a good chance this tree is that variety as well since it's been more than likely this is a nursery for that kind of tree the question is do we pull out the try and pull out this mess which is considerable or do we return to the far away mess that we got last time 
Let's go and have a look at the other tree first. Oh, let's get, really? Let's, yeah, because we just mentioned it. Now we've got to go and look at it. <sighs> Stop mentioning things then. <laughs> so this is the tree we were um, chopping last year, which is uh, still got quite a lot of it left. It's a massive size. I'll get up there for scale. It's it's enormous. Done. And we haven't, to be fair, we haven't got a big enough chainsaw <laughs> to get through this. <laughs> no. I think it's too big. I think this tree is saved for, an, it's saved for best. <laughs> and we tackle smaller trees that your chainsaw can handle. Yeah, I think we're going to have to. Yeah, like what about this one here that's just now to your left? That's at quite an angle. Yeah, that's, no, there's nothing on it. But, yeah, but... Mm. Last 10 seconds. Right, let's you go. You can't fuss over the size of the wood when you've just shown the fact that our woodshed is empty. If it's wood yeah, and but it's you down don't, you and want to it's spend your, spend your time getting a tiny twig out for 20 hours, it'll last about a day. This one here, the lying relatively yeah, flat one. There's nothing there, it's just, it's just rotten muck. There's nothing to it. <laughs> you don't agree? <laughs> no. I think if it's down and it's worth collecting for free firewood, then we should get everything that we can so that we don't continue to have an empty woodshed. But instead of doing that, why don't we do what I said? <laughs> <laughs> because you suck. <laughs> and you know I'm right. And when I tell right. you, when I say I've got to pay a wood guy to get a load of wood delivered, you'll go me, 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 me. Yeah, well, that's not happening. We're gonna, we're gonna do it my way because I've got the right idea. Uh, let's go. <sighs> Watch that barbed wire. Thank right you. by your foot. I see it. <laughs> Join me in the woods. Are you filming me just to see if I fall over and do something hilarious? No. Yes. Just a general, general <laughs> struggle is the funny bit. Shut up. <laughs> what are you holding on to there? A tiny twig. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you. Now then, what I wanted to show you was this. Look at this half a tree that's snapped off here. It's just snapped oh. off completely down the middle. How strange. Great. And it left this <laughs> really sort of gnarly and interesting looking trunk section here. Oh, I'm all breathless, sorry. But look at this guy. Is he freshly yeah. down? Yeah, I think he is. Point more. <laughs> yeah, I think this one that's resting like a tuning fork has come down in the recent weather. I'm not going to go anywhere near that. No, <laughs> no. Because it's too far away. And we're probably going to want to be careful with what we're doing. I know it looks like it's quite far away, but we don't want to create some kind of dodgy domino effect when we're messing around down here. No. So let's just be careful. I think what we're going to do is pull out this one that's in two sort of prongy bits because uh, it's disconnected from its parent tree, which is this, I think. But uh, uh, <laughs> oh, gone. oh, I haven't, I haven't no, I saved okay. myself at the end there. Because if I went, I would be landing in a pile of prickles. Right, do you want to come out of there and then we'll get going I'm on giving myself this. like the worst possible route to come out. Go around the other way. Look, it's a sort of tranquil garden. Yes, I'll here. come through the tranquil garden Whereas instead. You got into like danger kingdom with prickles everywhere. Yeah. Right, I'm coming down the tranquil garden. Okay. Here I am. Good work. Thanks. What is their barbed wire halfway across our... I have no idea. Ancient demarcations or something. <laughs> anyway, let's go and hook up these trees with the rope chain. I think we're going to need to do a little bit of brambling first. Maybe. Let's go. This is that moment where Paul's got to work out how to reverse the digger with the trailer so that the trailer turns in backwards. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Probably can't hear anything. It? Yeah, but let's... What's well, the problem? Sorry about the engine noise. The wheel fell off the trailer <laughs> and that was a problem because then it rolled into the digger and I was sort of wedged. Oh. Uh, we forgot the chocks. Yeah, but that wasn't the problem. The problem was the wheel fell off. Well, the wheel fell off. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's go and pull this tree out.
the hook. <laughs> I've got the wrong uh, hook on the trailer. I need to phone. There she is. I've got to flag her down. She's coming. She needs to see me. She's not going to see me. She's on the tractor. <laughs> oh no, here she comes, but she's going to have to go all the way back again. Sorry, darling. Um, I've got the wrong hook for the digger. It She's got everything piled on her lap, so I'm going to have to go over and help her get it. Here she comes, back again. With the right piece. It's a bit bouncy. <laughs> if you don't have to be behind the lens, you can help. <laughs> With what? Oh, I don't know. It's looking pretty. <laughs> yeah. Let's get the tree pulled out. Put your hands down. <laughs> God. How old are you? <laughs> and what's happening here? With what? With this. The clip thing is gone. I don't know. I bought that for you. Yeah, sorry. I don't know where it went. I buy you camera equipment and you lose it. I'm going to meet myself. Good. <laughs> Rightly so. Consider yourself shamed. Oh, it's coming. Are you stuck on something? Yeah. Uh, okay. One towed out, and then we'll deal with it. Yay! Here it comes. <laughs> oh, that's a noise you don't want to hear when there's some dodgy-looking falling-down trees. It's a big one. tree quite sizable it's about the size of three poles i would say so what's that it's about an 18 foot tree maybe not that much actually 15. why don't you come a bit closer instead of describing it to the viewers <laughs> you've got a camera you can move <laughs> God. honestly the talent today is just want, 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 isn't it? <laughs> what have we done? What have we done? Well, the chains, the, the, the cord is stuck under the tree. Um, but I was thinking of uh, trying to pull this one out as well, because this isn't a lot of firewood here. It looks good, but I don't know. It's not even, not even three metres, I don't think. Um, so we'll get this one out as well, I reckon. Uh, which is an awkward shape. Yeah. But uh, let's do it anyway. I'm hungry. Okay, um, <laughs> we need this out. You. It's out of here. Come and show the poor. Oh, is it all oh and look at that. Here. It is way oh, and all... this is well and truly on its last legs. This, yeah, it really is. The steel cable. Steel cable. It's stuck. So I'm gonna I'm gonna lift it up with the digger bucket and then we'll pull it out. Bit more. More. <laughs> Oh, it's going to ping back on me, I can tell. Oh, there we go. Done. What are we going to make today? Today, we're going to make a Spanish chicken and sausage casserole. Um, it is inspired by a recipe I found online. I'm not going to claim credit. I can't remember which recipe it was though, so apologies to the original author. Um, it contains, come and have a look. Sausage, this is just chipolatas that I've chunked up into pretty decent chunks. 
chicken breast, some red onion. This is just one whole red onion that I've diced up. Same with a green bell pepper and a red bell pepper. Just a decent handful of black olives and the same of green olives. And then we're going to pop into it the stuff that will make up the sauce, um, the liquid, which is some chicken stock. There's about 300 ml there. Um, some tinned tomatoes, a bit of tomato puree, and then some thyme, paprika, salt, and a bit of garlic. So let's get on with it. So into the pan, I'm just going to pop my sausage first of all. And my theory goes that this should produce, or the sausage should produce enough fat to then chuck the rest of the um, ingredients on my board into and let that brown a little bit as well. So my sausages have been browning a little, um, just getting rid of that pink colour. I did add a little bit of oil in the end because they were sticking a bit, but that is not a problem. It does not matter because all of that flavour will lift off as we add more ingredients. So in is going my diced up chicken breast. There you go. And red onion. So I'm just going to let the chicken, again, get rid of its pink colour and brown up a little bit, which should take a couple of minutes. The chicken, sausage and onion have been bubbling away for probably about five minutes just to get that kind of pink raw colour off the chicken. Um, and so into this, I'm going to pop one tin of tomatoes, just diced, chopped, whatever, tomatoes and my stock I'm tripping over the cat bowls in the background yeah but i just poured milk all over my foot <laughs> well done <laughs> give that a little stir and then into that i'm going to pop a scoop good scoop that is a big heap dessert spoon of tomato puree and lastly my peppers and my olives give everything a mix around okie do so I'm going to let that come up to a little boil while it does I'm going to add in just a little bit of salt about a teaspoon because there is chicken stock in there which is pretty salty paprika oops my paprika's got itself into a lump quite a lot of paprika and some thyme when I say quite a lot of paprika that was probably about a teaspoon I would say it is a case of just popping a lid on and leaving this to simmer for about an hour. Okay, so we've been going for probably just over an hour. Um, and if you come and have a look, you can see what state we're in. It's still quite liquidy, but that is absolutely fine because I serve this with just some plain white rice. And eagle-eyed among you will have seen that I didn't add the garlic that was in the ingredients list, but it's going in now. There we go. And we will get this plated up very soon. So here we are, Spanish chicken and sausage stew with black and green olives, red and green pepper. I serve it with just plain rice and I've got some bread down on our terrace because it's a lovely sunny day. So we're going to eat down in the um, garden. It is as always. <laughs> here we do that again. How much actual work was it was in it? 15 minutes, 15 minutes or so to get everything prepped, meat browned off in the pan and then the rest of the veg and the tomatoes thrown in. We have a bit of a theme going with quick recipes. It is... 15 minutes? 15 minutes! <laughs> It doesn't smell like 15 minutes. <laughs> it smells like at least an hour. Oh, it could for an hour. <laughs> 15 minutes prep. Okay, cool. I like Thank special you. guest spots. Oh, it's very helpful. Yeah, 15 or so minutes prep with. So, bon appetit. Bon appetit. Job done. Yes. <laughs> Let's go.
go eat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What? Which tree? Which tree? This prongy one here. So oh, yeah, gonna I be see fun. It. It's got a sort of, you probably can't see it very well on the camera, it's got a sort of C-shaped C prong there. You've got to traverse the... Oh, why don't you go through the um, Tranquil oh, Garden? Yes, the Tranquil Garden. <laughs> uh... <laughs> the Tranquil Garden is a lot easier, believe me. <laughs> So how are you going to deal with the prongs? I assume you're going to saw one of them off, or both of them. Um, or are you just sort of hoping that everything will come? Yeah, I was kind of hoping it would just work. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, you're so far away. Oh my goodness me. Oh, oh. Oh, well, things are happening rapidly. Way! What snapped? Oh dear. There goes the steel cable. Did it though? Yeah. Did it definitely snap? Guaranteed. Or did it just slip? It's here. Oh, that would be a real shame if it snapped. Way! Careful. Oh, I yep. call that snap. Oh. <sighs> Um, well, nuts. Battery's not coming out today. <laughs> Our commenters have suggested we use a heavy duty ratchet strap that the farmers use. I mean, it so... might be worth it. Why don't we go and get one of our ratchets? No, I've tried that. They're not the right kind. We need uh... to go to the Bricko and ask them. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but not right now. No. Let's just saw this one Let's up. get this one sorted. Yeah. yeah, fine. But we'll get this one logged up, um, loaded into the trailer, and then get a replacement. <laughs> There goes Paul off into the distance because the chainsaw has run out of petrol. So he's got to go and get the fuel from up in the barns. But luckily, that's why we bring the mower because we basically treat it as a quad bike. But I'll show you where we've got to so far. You will have seen on the time lapse, but we've uh, got some decent chunks of wood cut. Let me show you. So here we go. You can see each notch has been cut in. Or, well, not notch, that's the wrong word. Um, he's basically made cuts pretty much nearly all the way through, but what he's found when we've been doing this in previous videos and not even when we've been on camera, if he does cut all the way through, there is the danger that the chainsaw blade then gets just stuck because the wood closes itself as the cut um, is finished. We're back in action. Sorry for the volume with the chainsaw and sorry for the distance, but I don't like going anywhere near it when he's got the chainsaw going. <laughs> so sit rep we've got a trailer sort of 80 mm, percent full of wood but we aren't really satisfied with that uh so we're going to try and get this out which without, is coming without tripping over the chainsaw oh yeah please please move the hazards thank you <sighs> oh it's got a um nook right a little notch right at the end that's going to stop it coming why are you lifting it so just, far. just pull it. No? <laughs> no. Okay. Stop that nonsense. <laughs> oh, I think we're about to just bring everything down. Uh, that way, over to this way. And then... Oh. There we go. Ah! 
What's this? It's your oh flat hair. God. It's weeds. What's this? Where's my hair oh clip dear. gone? I think half is. a forest stuck to me. We're recording. Oh dear. <laughs> um, anyway. <laughs> Hello, we have a trailer full of wood now. We decided to collect up some kindling as well, um, which can be used for emergency wood when our big thick black locust takes ages to burn. So let's have a look. So yeah, here we go. It's a bit haphazard um, because all of these little tiny twigs that are kind of poking out here, there and everywhere are the smaller, very dead trees that were in the front of this area that we were pulling the trees out of. So we're going to break for some lunch, I think. We are going to pick up from the Bricko, tell me if I'm wrong, a new chain. Yeah, because um, we snapped the cable. No. 